Hi there! Many people say that Harvard CS 50's introduction to computer science is the best course ever made. But is its statement really valid today? This year, with plenty of alternatives all over the internet. My name is Daniel, and today I will review Harvard CS 50 introduction to computer science course. Moreover, I will ask guys who watch this course also provide their independent feedback. So let's find out, is it still worth it? First thing first, this course is taught by instructor David J. Mellon. He's a pretty famous American computer scientist and professor. David is a professor at Harvard School of Engineering, where his research interests include cybersecurity, digital forensics, and computer science studies. Guys, I have seen many courses in my life, and I want to say, David is an excellent teacher. The way he explains information is exciting, moving, and just inspiring to study. And there are other two guys who also have a valid reputation in the computer science field. All of them explain concepts on a really high level. And because of this, Harvard CS50 course has gained insane popularity and recognition worldwide. The instructors start by explaining how computers work, and then they gradually introduce programming language like C, Python, JavaScript, and SQL on a basic level. They also cover security software, basic data structure, and many other important things. And what I personally like, they teach it in a very enthusiastic and interesting way. The lectures are short and entertaining at the same time, making it an enjoyable learning experience. They also provide assignments of varying difficulty to test your skills. I want to add that even already experienced programmers in my team enjoyed watching this course. And because Harvard made such a high quality course, it became a good source of inspiration for many beginner developers. Because CS50 is specifically designed for beginners and covers the basics of programming and computer science. It's not just about coding, it's about learning to think like a programmer. And even if you have never coded before, you can still take this course. And I think this is perfect. Throughout the course you will work on problem sets that relate to what you are learning each week. These problems can be not so easy for beginners, but they are meant to help you develop problem-solving skills. It's not just about following instructions step by step, it's about learning to think critically. Moreover, it teaches you to build skills to solve problems on your own. You will have to spend time on researching and finding information just like real programmers do. The course also has a large online community, which in my opinion is really important for beginner. There are Reddit pages and Discord channel where you can find support and additional resources. And the online community is a place where you can meet other fellow programmers and ask questions. Come here, bro. The next cool thing is that you can actually watch this course for free even on YouTube. And if you want a certificate, you can pay a small fee and get it from EDX website. I'm not sure if this certificate will help you with your job interview, but anyway, you can still have it. And now, the most important thing. Here I come. Press the like button, please. And if you like my content, feel free to subscribe. So you will see when I post the next useful video like this. Thanks. The CS50 course is packed with valuable content, but it does require some time and effort. Overall, I think this is an amazing course, especially because it's interesting to watch, and you can take it for free. At the same time, it could be a bit difficult course for a beginner. Or I would clarify, CS50 is simply more time-consuming than difficult. The duration of the course is 11 weeks long, and your average time commitment is between 10 and 20 hours per week. So it's not a quick course. And that's why it's maybe not for everyone. But if you are patient, I think it's totally worth your time. But despite that, this course is perfect for beginner programmers. And I would really recommend Harvard CS50. You will come out of it feeling more skilled for sure in computer science. After finishing this course, you will be able to add website to showcase projects in your portfolio. But please, don't think that this course will be enough to teach you programming. It covers only basic computer science knowledge without any deep expertise. So continue learning as soon as you finish this course. Guys in my team who watched this course provided really high feedback. And I also personally think for the current year this is still a top course about computer science. And our collective rating is 5 out of 5. Guys, if you want me to analyze other free learning courses, feel free to let me know that in the comments. And I will try to make more review videos based on your requests. Think about it. And until next time.